Jamaica's Karika Hill and Tina Clayton nominated for Athletics Weekly's 2022 award. Welcome back to the channel, people. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for making it Peter Lloyd World. Now, go ahead, please. Hit that subscribe button so we can continue to grow. When you do that, go in and hit the notification bell so you know when the next video drops. We drop a video at least once a day here on Peter Lloyd World. Also, if you enjoyed the content, please hit that like button. And finally, leave your thoughts. So, when you're ready, yep, good to go. Well, Jamaicans have done it again. Two of our favorite young sprint queens, the remarkable Karika Hill and the equally remarkable Tina Clayton have both been nominated for the Athletics Weekly's AW Awards, specifically the International Junior Female Athlete of the Year. Both ladies are nominees and Jamaica is the only country featured as two of the six nominees. The nominees include Tina Clayton, uh, Elena Tizengo, Karika Hill, uh, Sega Vaninin, Adriana Villegos, and Carmen Bruce. I hope I pronounced these names correctly. Now, here is what's key. You Jamaicans and supporters of our athletes can go and vote. Go vote and support Karika Hill and Tina Clayton. I want all you yardies to go out and vote so our girls win the... Of course, Tina Clayton is nominated for her World Athletics Under-20 Championship win and run, setting a meet record of 10.95, her no personal best, the new national record on the 20 females. Um, she's just had a, an, a, another amazing year for Tina Clayton, and this is one of the reasons, these are some of the reasons why she's been nominated. Karika Hill, of course, was no less impressive with her remarkable world-leading win and run of 12.77 in the women's under-20 100-meter hurdles at the World Athletics Under-20 Championships this year in Cali, Colombia. Now, of course, both women, Tina Clayton and Karika Hill, were a part of the world record-setting quartet at the World Athletics Under-20 Women's 4 by 100 meter relay. Now, Karika Hill is also nominated separately by World Athletics for Rising Star Female of the Year. We still have not gotten any information as to whether or not she has won. So, I mean, this is remarkable. Jamaica, of the six nominees, we have two remarkable young ladies, Tina Clayton, the darling of Jamaica. And Karika Hill, I would say the fast rising other darling of Jamaica. Um, go and vote. You just have to find the... Uh, athletics weekly pages on twitter instagram and facebook and just vote the instructions will be there please go and support our girls 
um they have both had remarkable remarkable seasons however I do not want you to just automatically assume that because it's Karika Hill and Tina Clayton, one of them is going to automatically win. The other athletes have all done tremendous things in their 2022 season. And I guarantee you that they will be getting votes from their uh, fans, so to speak, or those people who support them. So please go out there and ensure that you I'm going to say it again vote i'm going to repeat this go to the athletics weekly pages at twitter instagram facebook the instructions are there people go and make sure you vote make sure you vote now i need to say this i think it's really remarkable that karika hill this is really her first international year as a global athlete um you know she's a class two girl um, class two uh, who just sort of exploded on the scene last year and to already have two major global nominations under her belt for her first really solid season says a lot i guess it's one of the reasons why she also decided to go pro alongside tina clayton but again we can't just assume that because they because they're both yardies and they're both super talented just don't assume and let someone else vote go vote okay Exercise your right as fans and supporters of both Karika Hill and Tina Clayton as Yardies, as Jamaicans. Um, please and go out and go vote. Take a few minutes and go and vote. I've already voted. Go vote for our ladies. In fact, I've, I voted for both of them. So just, only just go vote, yeah? <laughs> go vote. Um, you know, but again, I, in all seriousness, both of these ladies have done us really, really proudly this year they've just had remarkable seasons and you know what i'm looking forward to see what's going to happen that they're now professionals i think i think we all are i mean there there is some mixed we'll talk about it another time some people are support and some people don't support but i am truly looking forward to it uh what i'm seeing of karika hill she seems to be having a great time training with um the the the, the great one the living legend shelly and fraser price and um i we haven't seen much from tina clayton regarding training etc but she's with nvp so i'm pretty sure she's she's having a good time now some of you had said uh we have a video explaining why it is that tina clayton was not nominated by world athletics go watch the video like i might i might leave the link uh down in the description but once more congratulations jamaica has two of the six nominees for the junior female athlete of the year award which is the a one of the aw awards aw standing for athletics weekly you can go and vote for athletes please 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 you know as i keep stressing this one point go vote go vote for either karika hill uh, or tina clayton or vote for the two of them you know and um you just go to uh, athletics weekly on all major platforms the instructions will be there vote for our athletes remarkable remarkable jamaica is such a special place two girls out of six globally nominated for this junior award now don't forget to hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell and hit that like button and leave your congratulations for both our queens remember you are royals kings and queens bless up